Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Pseudo Monotype. Last time, I floored Mount Mortar as much as I can for this point in the game. Then I proceeded to the Lake of Rage and caught the Red Gyarados. Now it's time to clear out Team Rocket's hideout. Alright, now we're just going to switch over everything out. Yeah, yeah. This whole upcoming segment, you're going to see... Well, I'm going to... Well, I am going to deliberately trip all the alarms, because... Well, it's easy experience and money. Remember, you can't rematch trainers in this, uh... In this hack, because... For some reason, the verse They had to get rid of the Versus Seeker, which is... Annoying. Then again, the Versus Seeker is kind of broken. Considering you can basically endlessly power grind for money and experience with it. Those of you who have seen my uh, shiny only fire mono type run of Phantom Complete will know what I'm talking about. So down here are a bunch of trap floors, which have wild Pokemon in them that can explode. In theory, anyway. We're not going to go down there. But if you want to try and farm yourself a shiny Voltorb, Hopping, or Geodude, you can go down there and do so. Oh, that was stupid of me. Why did I do that? You're gonna go down. And that's the last of the alarms. But there's also one more trainer up here. I really need to check if it learns any other special attacks by leveling up. Like I said, I think it learns an extra sensory, but that might be Gen 4. Well, I guess they weren't very good ninjas then. And that turns off the alarms. And there's a guard spec. Okay, I checked, so yeah, it can't actually learn extra sensory, not in Gen 3. It's a uh, an egg move that Tokabi can get in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. That might be why I was thinking, oh, why doesn't it go doesn't extra sensory? It can, however, learn Magical Leaf via the move relearner, so I'll do that later. Painting over here. Okay, we're actually going to switch over to Garvoir again for this particular fight. Oh, never mind. I thought it might survive, and then it would use Transform, then I'd just use Shadow Ball. But nope, guess not. I always imagine this guy talking like Goofy. He's like, yup, 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 you're challenging me to a battle? Ha! <laughs> you're nuts! But you have guts. I like that. You can beat me, I'll tell you a password of the boss's room. Just fuck you and your stupid laugh. Uh, Hyper Fang.
Okay, so that's one password. Next special. Protein. Uh, I think my Pokemon can use that. Okay. Huh. This guy might have been one of the uh, turncoats from Gen 1, actually. I'll have to double check. Was there a trainer by the name of Ross? Uh, a scientist by the name of Ross in Self Company and Fire Red Leaf Green? I'll have to check. Oh. Okay, yeah, you can just blow yourself up too, I guess. That works. Go skin off my back. Just feel it. Fuck off with your paralysis, will ya? And that's the other password. Up here is an ice heal. Which will, well, it might be useful precisely once, because the next gym leader, spoiler, is Ice Type. So the full heal. Now over here, sometimes, sometimes there's a hidden item over here, but not always. Again, this, this hack is very janky. In fact, there's an item out there in the void, if you're wall hacking that you can get. But doing so will likely crash your game. In fact, I think that might be what's setting off the, uh... Yep. It's a hidden item out there in the void and we can't get it. This pack is janky as fuck. Hmm. Well, at least you're honest. You know what? Fine, be that way. If you knew you'd lose, why'd you try to take me on? You could have just surrendered. I would have let you go. I mean, I don't know exactly have handcuffs to arrest you, you know. Okay. Now we come up here and we get access to an item. Game 46. Thief. Now, Thief can actually come in handy later on, because a lot of the late-game trainers have leftovers on much of their team, and you can use that to steal their leftovers for your, for your Pokémon. Okay. And now Silver shows up. <clears throat> Complaining that Lance beat the shit out of him. Rightfully so. There's an Ultra Ball, and they're both passwords. And we meet Executive Petrol. Or he would be Petrol in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Now he's just a generic executive. Although I think that particular executive's name in Pokemon Adventures, the manga, is, uh, I think it's Carr? Alright, fine, be that way. It pissed me off, here's your prize. And that's the last password. So after going back to heal, let's go and open this door. <clears throat> so rather than it being a double battle, like in Heart Gold Soul Silver, 
you just fight a single battle against, well, Ariana. They never actually made the female admin sprite, I guess. Or executive sprite, rather. We'll just sweep her team. Or, eh, never mind, I guess we'll switch out again. Fine by me. Uh, nah. And now you have to take on three Electro to capture or knock them out. I believe if you run away, they don't... they just reset. But... Here's something interesting. Now, in Gold and Silver... Gold, Silver, Crystal, they all know Self-Destruct. They learn it at level 23 in Gen 2. But... Here, they're using the Gen 3 learn sets. And in Gen 3, they don't learn Self-Destruct till level 30, so that means these Electrode can't explode on you! Which means you can Shiny Hunt up to three of them! If you had the patience. I actually did get a, a Shiny in an Electric Mile-type run of the attack before. It took a long fucking time! Right. And, well, you just. They're calling you Bomb Ball, which. That was actually a nickname that. it's It was an official nickname in some of the, uh. Supplemental. Like, some of the, uh, strategy guides and stuff. They would even just call it. It's like Electrode, aka the Bomb Ball. Let's just knock out the last one. It would be really funny if the last one was shiny, but it wasn't the B. Okay, his sprite's broken. And that's the TM for Whirlpool. Yeah, apparently you need to have a badge to use a fucking TM. Now you wonder, why is it the HM08? Well... You'll find out a lot later. So now that's out of the way, let's go deal one more time and hit the gym. Okay, so now we're inside the gym, and it's, uh, well, it's one of the more annoying puzzles in this game. I never liked ice puzzles. Oh, fine, be that way. Fine. No, you couldn't. Okay, so after healing, let's take on all the other trainers. No, you actually have to talk to them to get them to battle you. They don't just do so passively. <clears throat> sure you do. Okay, so what's the secret? Yeah, seems legit. Okay, so now I need to try and remember how this puzzle went. I think you go up here, then here. You need to go up this way, over here, over here. No, this, this doesn't look right. No, I think I might have screwed up. Yeah, I did. Hmm. It's 
one's a bit of a pain. Oh wait, I think this is it. Yep, there it is. Let's just save real quick. All right, yeah, the lizard. Just go ahead, be that way. Hope that was worth it. Now, there's actually one other thing that we can get. I'm actually going to go back and throw out a space in my party real quick, so I can show you. But first, we get a call. It's from Professor Elm. Yep. Team Rocket's up to no good again. Seems they didn't learn their lesson from the hideout, so just, we'll put away, uh, like the three real quick. And then we'll just go back into the gym. Boy, no. Over here. Over here, over here, over here. What are you not going to remember? And he gives you a cast form. Now, cast form, in this case, normally it would hold mystic water, but in this case, it holds a water stone. So, that's one of the ways you can get... There, that's one of two water stones you can get in Johto. Let's just swap those Pokemon back out again. Put away the water stone. And I think that's going to do it all for this time, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.